What's going on guys? Today's video is gonna be all about handlebars. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know to pick the best bars for your scooter. We're gonna cover the fitment, we're gonna cover the materials, and all the other little details that might be involved. Now, when picking any parts for your scooter, there's a very important rule to remember. It's very simple. You have uh, three factors. You have lightweight, you have high strength, and you have affordability. And generally out of those three, you can only pick two. So first up are steel handlebars. These handlebars are generally available standard sized, oversized, as well as slitted and unslitted. These are the tried and true scooter bars, old reliable, if you will. Now the pros of these bars is that they are very, very strong and they're relatively affordable, but the con to this bar is that they are a little bit heavier. So you get strength, you get affordability, but you do not get lightweight with a steel handlebar. If you have IHC compression, that's going to require a standard size handlebar. The handlebar will need to be slitted and you will need to use a standard size clamp. If you have HIC compression, you will need to use a oversized steel handlebar with a slit with an oversized clamp. If you have SCS compression, you'll need to match the size of the handlebar to the style of compression that you have. Some SCS clamps are available in standard and some SCS clamps are available in oversized. If you're using SCS, you generally don't want to use a handlebar that has a slit. If you're not sure what handlebar slitting is all about, don't worry, we're gonna cover that in a little bit more detail at the end of the video. Steel handlebars are great for beginner riders because they're much, much stronger and they're very affordable. So if you're just getting started and you're not riding super smoothly, maybe not landing perfectly straight off of every jump, a steel handlebar is gonna deal with that abuse a whole lot better. Steel handlebars are also perfect for heavy duty riders, street riders, anyone hitting you know, the biggest jumps, biggest stair sets, anything really high impact, steel bars are gonna be perfect for that. So next up we have aluminum handlebars. Aluminum bars are quite lightweight and they're pretty affordable, but the downside is it, uh, 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 but the downside is that they aren't quite as strong. For fitment, aluminum bars can be a little bit confusing. The tubing on an aluminum bar is gonna be much thicker than what you would find on a steel handlebar. So the inner diameter of the handlebar is going to be standard sized, but the outer diameter of the handlebar is going to be oversized. If you're using IHC compression, aluminum bars are gonna be a direct fit, but you will need an oversized clamp. If you're using HIC compression, because HIC requires an oversized inner diameter, aluminum bars will not work. The bar will not fit over your compression shim. If you're using SCS, you'll want to use an oversized SCS. There are a handful of aluminum bars on the market that are standard size and work with standard SCS and they're SCS only, but they're much more rare. Most aluminum bars are going to be oversized. Aluminum bars are perfect for more experienced riders who want a little more performance out of their scooter. They're great for riders who ride very smoothly. So park riders love them and light street riders will have a good time with aluminum bars. If you do find that you are breaking aluminum bars though, it might be a good idea to consider switching to steel or titanium. So next up, we will take a look at titanium handlebars. Titanium bars have very low weight, similar to an aluminum bar. They have very high strength, similar to a steel bar, but the cost is much higher for tie bars. Most tie bars on the market are oversized. So if you're using IHC compression, you might need some special parts to adapt an oversized bar to that compression system. So right here, I have a standard NV IHC compression shim. You'll find this on most NV completes or if you have an NV fork. This right here is the oversized adapter shim. So as you can see, these parts are a little bit different. The oversized shim is a little bit thicker and allows you to directly bolt on any oversized handlebar to your IHC compression. So if you wanna use tie bars, that's the part you need. There's one more note I wanted to add about these adapter shims, and that is that they are brand specific. If you are using an NV scooter, make sure you use an NV adapter shim. If you're using a Root Industries scooter, make sure you use a Root Industries adapter shim, and so on and so forth. You'll also need to make sure for IHC compression that the handlebars are slitted and you'll wanna use an oversized clamp. For HIC compression, titanium bars are a direct fit. You just need to make sure that they are slitted and you need to make sure that you're using an oversized clamp. 
If you're using SCS compression, you will want to use an oversized SCS to match your oversized titanium bars, and you'll want to make sure that the bars are not slitted. Titanium bars are perfect for riders who want to make no compromises on their scooter. If you need something very lightweight, but also very strong, go with a titanium bar. So the last little bit that I want to talk about in a little more detail is handlebar slits. So what a slit is, is a little cut in the back of your handlebar. And what that does is it allows the handlebar to compress and squeeze onto your compression. If you use a compression system that goes up inside the handlebar, like IHC or HIC, this slit here allows your clamp to put force onto the whole compression system and keeps everything locked in place. If you're using SCS compression, you know that the handlebar goes into the clamp. So you don't want to slit on your handlebar so that the clamp can clamp very firmly around the bar. If you want to use a slitted handlebar with SCS, there's a great little part available called a bar saver. That's this right here. And what the bar saver does is it slides up into your handlebar, just like that. And now the, the slit won't compress at all when your bar is clamped. So that gives you a very firm mounting point for your SCS compression. Alternatively, if you're using a slitted handlebar with SCS compression, you can have the slit simply cut off. That will cost you a couple inches of handlebar height, but that is another great option for SCS compatibility. Now, if you need a compression system that requires a slit, but the handlebar that you want doesn't have a slit in it, that is a service that we offer. You can find it right on our website. It's listed under scooter handlebars. So the info in this video should cover most scooters with IHC, HIC, or SCS compression. If you think we missed something, make sure you leave us a comment down below. We'll answer any of your questions. If you need a little more guidance on how to pick the best handlebars for your scooter, feel free to head over to jibsactionsports.com and drop us a line or drop by the store and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Keep shredding.